Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and welcome back to Beholder where we are continuing to persevere in the face of extreme hardship. And let's continue in that vein. See, we need to repair this apartment for this dude that the rebels want us to move in. Ooh. Ooh. There are a lot of people. This is the one we need to rent to. Um, this guy moved out. Let's get these people, let's fill this place up, shall we? Okay, unemployed. We're in a place until spring. She's a librarian. Wants a place with no kids. And a conveyor belt operator. Planning on staying long term. Long term, rather. Let's rent to her. And we'll move in. This unemployed dude. Maybe he'll have something suspicious going on. We've got mail. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to do that. Anna wants a radio. Let's let's take care of that. We'll get us... Oh, the... Doggone it. This phone is ringing off the hook. Hopefully I can get up here in time afterwards to buy a radio from this guy. Pick up the phone. Uh, emergency call. Ministry of Order. Carl, we bring you sad news. Your son, Patrick Stein, took part in the central bank robbery and was killed by police. Great. My wife's probably going to commit suicide after all this. Our condolences. Since your son is underage, you'll be fined $5,000 for the damage he did to the central bank. How is he underage and going to university? And there's a private call also. Uh, pick up the phone. Thanks, Carl. I'll send the money to your account. Please help Comrade Grubick in the best you can. He's doing an important thing. Help us and spy. Do you understand me? Yes. I never doubted you. I'll call you in a couple of days to see how you're doing. Great. And our son also is dead. This game is brutal, man. All right, well, he's gone, so we're not going to be buying that thing. So let's check the mail, shall we? Keep an eye up here, see if he pulls his gun out again. Last night, criminals boldly robbed the West Branch of the Central Bank. The police neutralized them before they escaped and are working to establish their identities. Several factory workers and an underage miner are reportedly among them. Comrades, the government has turned our workers into criminals. Poverty ruins young lives. Then they die on the steps of the Central Bank with bullets in their chests... They died so we could help, so we could keep fighting. We should have recruited them. Being idle drove them crazy. Perhaps and there's the police back again. Uh, he's got a book. We can get rid of him. We need that gun though. Who are the police after? Oh, our wife did commit suicide, didn't she? Great. Our whole family is dead. Wonderful situation here. I'm so thrilled. Ugh. Well, at least they're not giving us quests anymore. Am I right? <laughs> Am I? Oh. Is this Grubeck? I think it is. How much long does this torture continue? Yeah, yeah. Funeral. There'll be two funerals to pay for as it's going. No, this is Grubeck. I'm Carl, the landlord. Antoine Grubeck. It's nice to meet you. Our mutual friends told me you're the one you're one of their best printing specialists around. It seems you've mixed up some things. I don't think we have a mutual friends. 
Of course, secrecy and other stuff. Sorry for bothering you. I don't know what you're talking about. Me either, and I don't know what that accent was supposed to be, but there it is. Alright, let's get in here. Since he's doing us the courtesy of leaving. And start searching. A note? He's going to come talk with me. He's going to meet me at Big Brother Bar. Okay. Illegal object found. Well, we want that. Let's take that on him. But we want to plant this and get rid of Clara. Hopefully we don't get caught. And we didn't. Good. Darn it, she's going back in there. Well, let's, let's continue our... Yep, pay the funeral. Unfortunately, getting a little jaded to all this. Oh, we're supposed to follow him? How do we follow him? What? Can we leave this area somehow? How do we get to Big Brother Bar? Do we get on the bus or something? Can we get on the bus? He doesn't want to talk to us. How do we... How do we go to the bar? I do not understand. Follow him. How do we follow him? Okay. Well. He doesn't want to talk to us. I, I am extremely confused. But I guess that doesn't really matter. Let's look up here. That guy's in there. Uh, looks like no one is home. He's going downstairs. Let's install some cameras up here, shall we? And since we're low on rep, we're just going to buy a bunch of cheap ones. Should have really got on the installing cameras. Citizen Rannick reported the bribery of an official. You tried to gain illegal access to the archive papers on Klaus Schimmer. God damn it, I knew I hated that guy. Do something illegal. You just do it. We'll get you. Turning into a horrible person. <laughs> this game is ruining me. Yep, she smokes. All right, let's start searching. Don't even know what the person who lives up here looks like. More fish? Can't take a single bite. Why are we not able to see that one as illegal? What? Oh, it's her. Sorry, uh, just repairing your smoke alarms. Rannick's gone. Well, I guess we can't get him. What are you doing here? Sorry. Leaving already. Leave at once. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay, well, there was potentially people to move in. No need to buy a radio at this point, I guess. The person who wanted it doesn't want it anymore. Uh, we'll move in the librarian. Luckily, we have cameras in there already. See, that lady's there. She has trouble sleeping. See if they're out of here. Nope, sleeping. If they will leave again, I will definitely plant some things. There is our new tenant. She doesn't want to talk to us till she gets moved in, apparently. Uh, let's take this opportunity to put a camera if we can. No, we can't install cameras in this room, can we? All right. Well, we can kill a bit of time by writing some reports on people, earning some money. Let's profile a tenant. 
we will profile. Well, no, all we have on him is illegal stuff. We will profile, not this person. We've got a few things on them. We got one thing on her and nothing on them. So I guess we're not going to profile. Leave. <laughs> Great. That's... Well, she's leaving. Is Aloysius gone as well? Or maybe she's not. What is she up to? Just standing in the corner there, and he's in there as well. Okay. This new lady, maybe we can meet her. Looks like she's coming to the door in any event. Yep. Let's speak with her. I'm Carl, the landlord. Good afternoon, Comrade Stein. Margaret Zauer, librarian. We met about ten years ago. I worked at the library of the 42nd teaching block. You probably don't remember me, and I have a good memory for faces. Nice to meet you. I attended the 42nd block. I hope you'll like living in our building. I will if it's clean and quiet. And no kids. Well, yeah. Don't think that's going to be a problem. Maybe she will let us explore her domicile for a bit. He's going to go eat, it looks like. Start searching. Well, whiskey. Uh, she's into fancy foods. Is that a globe? I don't know how we're supposed to follow Antoine Grubeck. Yeah, this fish is not being classified as illegal for some reason. It, it's definitely wanting me to. I don't know how to do that. Sheet music. Empty bottles. Search the phone. Tobacco, a book. That also is for some reason not being classified as illegal, though it's in one of the directives. Uh, a razor, a gardening magazine. Search here. Oh, they're both leaving. We'll search this and then we'll go plant evidence. If we can do that. A book. Great life of our beloved leader. Awesome. Get in here. All right. We're going to plant it here, I think. Put. Illegal object. Good. We finally got her. Finally, finally got her. All right, we need to go up here. And I think he's gone, but he's coming right back up. I don't think we've meet, met this gentleman yet. Meet him. I'm Carl, the landlord. Anji Rothar, waiting to be drafted. Are you a volunteer? Yes, sir. Okay, well, that was short and sweet. Let's get rid of that girl, shall we? We've been trying for a long time, and now we finally have the stuff. Good to know we can actually do that. Um, write a report. On her. I'm not even going to bother with blackmail. I just want her gone. Lives in apartment two. Violated directive. Which directive was it? The fish one. Where is the fish? 6048. Which took place on September 8th. And the evidence. Send. Leave. 
The police are on their way. Nice, nice, nice. Let's talk to this guy again. I still don't know how we're supposed to follow him, even though that's an objective. Um, ask about new tomorrow. Tell me about the movement you joined. What are its tasks and goals? That's nonsense. There's no movement. My main goal is to eat well and hit my target. You won't let me complete these tasks. Under suspicion. Yeah, follow Antoine Grubeck. I, I'm just not understanding what we're supposed to be doing. Up till this point, we've not been able to leave this thing. And I don't know if that means follow him. It may be, it might mean investigate him. Not sure. Um, she's got a book. If we ever need to get rid of her. Did you find the fish? I hope you found the fish. I want that girl gone. Then maybe Aloysius will be further on our side, though it would have done us well to be able to do that before our daughter perished. Beat her. There you go. Now, I ain't saying you a gold digger. Let's go ahead and read this note while they're doing their thing down there. Due to the recent events at the university, the Ministry of Order has closed the facility. All of the employees have been laid off. Some of the students will be assigned to the labor camps, and others will be sent to war. Um... Investing in horns and hoofs was a terrible idea. The business failed, and I lost all my money, although I now have two tons of jellied meat. I tried to sell it and was fired for trading. You are guilty of ruining my life, Carl. I wish I could make you eat all of that jellied meat. Well, sorry, dude. You know what? You asked our advice, so it was up to you whether or not to take it. Comrades, we mourn that horrific decision. There you go, idiots. Since you didn't want to study, you get to march. All right. This is a horrible place. Horrible, horrible, horrible place. Uh, he's talking to someone on the phone. I really just... I don't know what to do about that dude. Can we talk to this lady down here? What do you want? Uh, meet you. Hello, I'm Carl, the landlord. Dora Noel. Nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Um... You seem to have trouble sleeping. Am I interrupting something? Uh, oh no, just asking. I'm recently widowed, wink wink. I do have trouble sleeping. As soon as I close my eyes, I start thinking of terrible things. And the nightmares. Find out the reason? Minus 300 reputation? Really? Sure, go for it. Do you know the reason for the nightmares? Trust me, I'm just trying to help. I don't know why, but I feel like I can trust you. The thing is, I'm terrified of my ex-husband. He's an awful man, Carl. Why, did he mistreat you? If constant doctor visits due to battering is considered being mistreated, then yes. Sorry. Why did you marry him? My parents forced me to. Their goal in life was to make sure their daughter was uh, taken care of. That sounds horrible. No, the worst part was that every time I was hospitalized with yet another broken bone, they took his side. You asked for this. You deserve this. It's your fault. And so on. Victim blaming at its worst. It took me several years to build up the courage to escape, but I finally did it. And now I'm in hiding. Do you think he'll come after you? I'm positive. He considered me his property. And he's really touchy when it comes to his stuff. The problem is, he knows people from the Ministry of Migration. I'm afraid he'll find out I'm here. And then he'll come and break me like a doll. I'll do my best to prevent this. You're a good man, Carl. Yeah, that's what they tell me. I think you need to get some rest. Do you have a sleeping aid? No, I haven't considered a sleeping aid. I'll try to find one for you. 
you'll see what a difference a good night's rest can make. Thanks, I didn't expect any help. Yeah, well, we're this, just that kind of schmuck. Go see if we can find it right now. My compliments. Uh, do you have a sleep aid? Um, let's see. Yep, sleeping pills. Well, that's money well spent, I suppose. Let's knock and give these to her. Maybe she can get some rest. Or maybe it'll kill her. With our luck, that's exactly what's going to happen. Hello? What do you want? Here is your sleeping aid. I found you a sleeping aid. It should help. That's very noble of you. It's my job to take care of the tenants. Well, we got reputation back, not as much as we lost for asking about her situation, but let's try to follow this guy. Or maybe it may just mean investigate him. I had the feeling that the devs who created this, that English is not their first language, and maybe the translation isn't exactly perfect. All right, a robe. Reproductions. Expensive art reproductions. Interesting. He's a forger, maybe? They said he was a print specialist. Is he coming back up to... Yeah, it looks like he is. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Oh, phone. Almost missed that. Better run. Uh, pick up the phone. Emergency call. Ministry of Order. Antoine Grubek, the traitor of the motherland, has been living in your house for an entire week. Although he's our undercover agent in the revolution, you'll be punished for collusion. What? He's your undercover agent. Your job is to watch and report everything that happens here. If you don't do this, you're either a traitor or asleep at the switch. That's intolerable. Consider yourself fined. All right, folks. I know this episode is a bit shorter than the previous ones, but I'll be honest. I'm just not enjoying this game anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. It doesn't really give you enough information to know what you're supposed to be doing. I get the feeling that I would have to play through this whole game, however long it is, several times to even have a chance at getting some good outcomes. And that's just not something I'm looking forward to doing. So I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough till this point, but unfortunately this is going to be the final episode because I'm kind of fed up with it. It's made me feel really horrible, to be honest. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my suffering so far, and if you have, please leave a like below. It really does help tremendously, and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.